Hey scientists, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about your Unit 3 test review on population dynamics, ecological succession, and HIPCO. You have a total of 19 questions. <clears throat> I'm going to bring up my science notebook so that I have an active resource to use for my review. I can use my table of contents to find where I begin Unit 3. That's going to be on slide 27 with population dynamics. Okay, lichens. Lichens are an example of a blank. Blanks is a two-word answer. <clears throat> That's going to happen uh, to be a part of ecological succession. So this I know I can find it on slide 28. Lichens are an example <clears throat> if I open my notes. They are a first, <clears throat> they are a type of organism to show up first and populate. Okay, uh, this is a part of primary succession. I know that because it is the first to show up and populate and is very much important and needed. I see here that it's a pioneer species, the first to populate in an area during primary succession. So then right here, I would write pioneer <laughs> species. Number two, define carrying capacity. Now, scientists, I'm not going to go through this entire thing and give you all of your answers. <clears throat> I am, however, going to show you where to find your information. Define carrying capacity. So remember that capacity is my maximum amount of organisms that I can support in any given area or any given ecosystem. Right. So the Gobi Desert has a carrying capacity. Carrying capacity, I know, <clears throat> is going to be a question about population dynamics. So this is going to be found in slide 27. The graph shows some type of growth. We have only two types of growth. We have logistic and exponential. Okay, logistic growth starts out nice and, and fast where you do have rapid population growth. However, <clears throat> you begin to run out of resources and you eventually reach carrying capacity. Exponential growth, no limit on resources. So you have a continuous incline of, of a population. Number three says, uh, right below, it says using the same graph as in number three, which is right here on the left, answer the following. Number four, what are some factors that could cause the change in population size at letter A in the, on the graph. Okay, so factors such as what we had discussed yesterday in Kaibab lab, where we mentioned a factor is anything that's gonna cause a shift or a change in your population. So what are some things that can, that can happen? Predators, right? If I have a growing number of predators, then my population is going to decrease. If I don't have a lot of predators, my population can increase. If I'm running out of food, that's a problem. If I'm, in, if I'm experiencing higher death rate than birth rate, that's a problem too. Okay, so all of these are factors that can change a population. Okay, so all of those are, are things to consider when we are documenting number four. Number five, what happens to the population size if it goes over carrying capacity? So this one we, we had talked about in Kaibab. Right? What happens when you pass carrying capacity? Think about what carrying capacity means. We said it's the max amount that I can support. So if I go over this line, do I even have any resources to support anybody? Number six, as the human population continues to grow, will our estimated carrying capacity stay the same, increase, or decrease? Explain. So let's pretend <clears throat> that this is... Um, this is a graph representing human population. However, we have not reached carrying capacity yet. And we are at an exponential growth rate, meaning it's just going up and up and up and up. As we start to use up all of our resources, will carrying capacity always stay at this height, for example? Can it be moved up or can it be moved down? And why do you think that? So explain. 
So this is some this is going with our information for HIPCO. As well as um, maybe there are some things to consider in KIBAP. Right, so if I do enough destruction, right, we talked about deforestation. If I'm rapidly destroying all of these trees and I'm not educating anybody on how to fix it, <clears throat> and I am also destroying the land to where it's not usable anymore, will it ever be the same to where ca carrying capacity will always be that way? Okay, those are, some, those are things to consider in number six. Number seven, humans are beginning to understand that deforestation is devastating to the planet, right? Kind of what we just talked about. And have begun to replant trees. Oh, this is called reforesting or reforestation, this activity. A big positive effect is that the trees are able to stop the constant runoff of minerals from the land and into the ocean. This is caused, or this is called, excuse me, there are, let's see how many letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what is a seven letter word that describes how minerals and things are not stopped from leaving the land? They continue to run off. <clears throat> Rocks, right, get beaten down into smaller and smaller pieces. It, and it ultimately ends up, uh, let's say downstream, downriver, and then eventually in the, into the ocean. This is something that we did not explicitly talk about in class. Um, however, we did see it in one of the videos um, where uh, it is a BBC video where uh, David Attenborough is describing the Amazon rainforest to look as if it is bleeding. And that is because the, the consistent loss of trees is no longer stopping all of the land minerals from flowing uh, downstream and directly into the ocean. So it's bringing all of that mud, right, that the, all of those nutrients and, and sometimes, right, waste products down into the ocean this is caused by and known as erosion so we need plants right, to to root and keep everything down or else it just runs off that's erosion a climax community is also known as a mature what um and if you're not sure climax community this information <clears throat> can be found in ecological succession slide 28. okay Number nine, the human population is linked to which of the following? So which of these is directly caused okay, by humans? This is a HIPCO question. I can find this on slide 29. Is it A, scarcity? That means I'm running out. Things are scarce. They're hard to find, like rare. Scarcity of animal habitats. That's a place where they live through or because of habitat destruction. Right. That means to destroy it. B, pollution. C, depletion of resources. D, bringing animals back from extinction. So which one of these are humans completely responsible uh, for right now? 10, what does HIPCO stand for? What was that, 29? Slide 29 is a HIPCO question. Excuse me, HIPCO information for number 10, which is a HIPCO question. 11, define the following and tell me whether or not it has a positive or a negative impact on the population growth. So population growth, this is um, <clears throat> this is gonna be 27 pop dynamics. I will do one with you. I'm gonna go ahead and open my slides from pop dynamics. And it's asking me about impacts. Okay, so I think my first one was natality. Here we go, natality. Number of births. Okay. And these are things that affect popula population growth rate. So natality is a positive. And this is, I'm going to unbold it. Number of births. Birthdays, I almost wrote. Births. Okay. And you'll go on to do the same for mortality, immigration with an I. Think I for immigration, think I for into. Emigration, think E for immigration, E for exit. That should be a clue. 12, what are density dependent factors? Ooh, that's still with pop dynamics. Scientists, if you didn't know, there's a shortcut to search. You do control F, 
and you'll pop up this search box and it'll pop up on any document. You can do it in Google, you can do it anywhere, Gmail, wherever. <clears throat> so this is density and you just click um, enter until you find what you want. Oh, there's uh, the, the immigration, immigration, cool. Here it is, density dependent factors and density independent factors. So now I'm going to scroll down. Here they are, types of limiting factors. Density dependent. These are living things in the environment that have an increasing effect as population increases. So it increases as the population grows. So competition, that makes sense, right? We're going to start to fight over food and shelter, things like that, because there's more of us. We have to compete for it. Disease makes sense. The more people I have, the easier it is to transmit disease and parasites. Okay, so biotic factors in the environment that increase as population increases. Biotic factors that increase as population increases. Example of density dependent factors, it said parasites, disease, and competition. Cool. You can do uh, 14 and 15 yourself. 16, true or false, invasive species can be controlled by natural predators and produce slowly. Hmm. That doesn't sound like population dynamics to me. Invasive species sounds a lot like HIPCO. So that is going to be slide 29 to find your information. 17, growth rate is characterized. Oh, that's pop dynamics. Was that 27? Awful memory scientist. There you go, 27. Blank type of growth rate is characterized by constant growth, but it begins to slow down. Stabilize means to, to become mm, un, unchanged, so flatlining. And it has limited resources. 18, this kind of succession starts with bare rock, no soil, and requires a pioneer species. So this is eco succession. Is that 28? Yes, it is. Slide 28. And this kind of succession, oh, so we're still on 28, begins with still having access to soil buried seeds and does not require a pioneer species. I'm going to bold these. Still has soil. All right, scientists. So then that would lead you to complete your unit three test review. Did I put a slide? Yeah, I did. 20. So I've given you a guide to where, you're to where you will find your answers. <clears throat> and I have walked you through a couple of the examples. Scientists, if you have any questions, or you need any help, please feel free first Look in your notebook for your answers and then contact me. All right, scientists, thanks for thanks for watching and I'll see you in class.